Hi, good morning. So message from the Lord today, Psalms 118 says, I shall live and not die. And because the Lord has spared me, I shall proclaim his name. So right now, some of you are looking at the situations in your life. You're looking at the medical reports and it's like, man, that doesn't look good. Or if you're on WebMD, you think maybe you have this or maybe you have that. But I just want to uh, tell you that that's a lie from the enemy because God speaks favor over your life. He spe speaks prosperity over your life. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to tear down every truth that God has spoken to you and instead exchange it with a lie. And that's just all it is. It's a lie. It's a sham. It's, it's a fraud. And that's who the enemy is, but not God. God wants you to grow. He wants you to flourish. If you look at all the flowers in the field, right? God takes care of them. He takes care of the birds in the sky and he surely shall take care of you too. I mean, if you look at the way God cultivates things and the detail that he puts into things, do you think that he doesn't hear your prayers? Because I want to tell you that God most certainly hears your prayers. He hears them and not only does he hear them, he answers them. When God is speaking, when you're praying to God, he literally shifts his head and looks and says, oh, my daughter, oh, my son, I hear you. But the enemy comes along and he tries to snatch that away from us. He tries to say, oh, you know what? God didn't answer this time. I guess he didn't hear you. Guess you made him mad. But that's a lie. That is such a lie. It's a blatant lie from the enemy. Just because God isn't acting at this exact moment in time doesn't mean that he doesn't hear your prayers. It doesn't mean that you're not going to receive your healing. It doesn't mean that you're not redeemed because the enemy tries to come along and snatch up every single seed that is planted by God. And those that aren't rooted deep, they shall, they'll, it's not good. The enemy will snatch them up. But that's why we have to be rooted deeply in God. We have to be rooted deeply in his word because we, when we know him, we, it allows us to love him more and allows us to grow closer to him. And so, you know, some of you right now are thinking, man, I'm not getting a prophetic word. God's not hearing me. Or man, you know what? Everyone else is getting their call for ministry right now. Everyone else is getting their promotion. Everyone else is getting healing. Everyone else's marriage is being restored. And I've been praying. I've been praying for years. And God, where are you now? But you know what? God hears you. He hears all the prayers. And he wants you to know that it's it's going to happen on his time according to his plan because all things happen to the glory of God, right? And some things you're not ready for yet. Some of the things that are going as unanswered prayers are actually blessings. So you need to thank God. Be sure you thank God every single day for the unanswered prayers because it's such a blessing and favor that God cares about you enough to hear your prayers. And when something, when you're praying for something that's not good for you, God's going to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, I have something better for you. So on the surface, it may look like that prayer is going unanswered, but the Lord wants you to know that he has something better in store for you. Some of you are like, why is this situation like this, God? Like, I don't understand why you allowed this to happen. But all caring fathers look out for their children, right? They hear the cries of their children, but they also know what's good for them. So I know when you were growing up, right? You'd be like, oh, I want I want to move out on my own. I hate, hate living under the roof. I hate falling to these rules, et cetera, et cetera. But a lot of times those rules kept you out of trouble. It kept you away from the snares and the traps of the enemy. And, and God views things the same way when you're under his household and his rules, walking in his favor. You're not going to get everything you're asking for because not everything you're asking for is according to his will and nor is it good for you guys. So when you pray, you need to pray for the will of the Father. Say, God, these are my desires. A lot of you aren't even coming to the Father with your desires. Like when I talk to God, man, I'm talking to God like all day long. I'll be like, God, check it out. So like, am I going to have like tacos for dinner or am I going to have like a bowl of cereal, right? Like, so I'm talking to God literally about everything. When things frustrate me, I go to the Father and I'll be like, God, this frustrates me. I'm so angry right now. I don't understand. Help me to see this how you see this. But a lot of you guys aren't doing that. You need to go to the Father, even with the small things, right? Because the small things add up. And the Father just wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your voice. And so when we come to the Father and when we seek His favor and when we go boldly before the throne room, not like a coward, go boldly with 
to God with all of your requests. He will answer them in his timeline according to his fashion. You are created with a purpose. You are chosen. You are redeemed. Before the world was even formed, Jesus was thinking about you. It was all according to God's plan. It was all according to God's will. Don't let the enemy snatch up the plans that God has for your life. He wants to try. He wants to come and kill and steal and destroy. But God says, no. He says, you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. No snap, no snare, trap, or scheme of the enemy shall prevail over your life. Psalms 91, you shall abide in the, the shelter of the Most High God. Amen. Amen, guys. So keep abiding in the shelter. Keep seeking God. Keep seeking His presence. Keep seeking His favor. And you shall live and not die.